Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jackie and today we'll be decorating for Halloween in my dining room. Um, if you have watched previous videos and um, holiday decor, you will see I'm constantly changing this side of the wall. I stay adding shelves, taking them out. I just can never figure out what I really want to put on this side of the wall. But today I decided to keep all halloween theme going on obviously i meant ghost <laughs> theme going on on this room all those items are new i did incorporate some older pieces but for the majority of the this wall everything is new I decided to incorporate some vintage um, pieces as well. I think that's what I really was trying to go for this Halloween. Um, add vintage with some spookiness. ready for halloween let me know if you're gonna be dressing up with your kids and going trick-or-treating i know i am even though my kids are well my two youngest are 12 and 15 but we still love to go trick-or-treating let me know down below in the comments So I get a lot of questions about this ghost. I uh, got it last year. My friend made them and she ended up selling some. So, you know, I wanted to support and ends up getting one. And I love it because it's so cute. couldn't get him to stay looking frontwards so I was kind of struggling there to get him to look right okay guys so this is how this little corner turned down let me know down below in the comments how you like it and do you think it looks cute with the whole um ghost and a little bit of vintage items added to it let me know down below So this corner I took out my um, olive tree I felt like it was more of a summer theme look so I just added this little chair a ghost and I kept the anthropology planters well not the big one I just kept these two little ones and decided to just add it to this corner with this little ghost 
and these two goals are from last year this little pumpkin i got this year at michael's They both also light up, but I forgot to turn them on for the video. <laughs> so this corner in my dining room, I just decided to go for like more of a neutral look. And this little piece, it's a vintage piece. I have bought it off a shop on Etsy, not Etsy, I'm sorry instagram i did receive it kind of beat up so i had to kind of take it apart to hammer it together to um make it look straight and these little jack-o-lanterns one of them is from last year and this year i found the big one and another small one So I'm just going to incorporate some of my plants because like I said um, in my previous videos, I do collect plants and I have a bunch all over my house. So sometimes I have to incorporate them in my decor just because I don't have any way to put them. And if I don't incorporate them in my decor, they'll just be randomly <laughs> just all over my house. Just we're not a home to be. So I said why not out of here and these goals oh my god I love it it's from big lots and I'm so glad I found both of them this year So I am done with this side and can you see on the corner like it looks like it's chipped that's where I had to like hammer it but it's all good it's in one piece now I love it I really like how this corner came out um, let me know down below what you think all right guys we are almost halfway through the video um but this shelf well cabinet it's from target i have had it for about three years i want to say three years because i purchased it when we first moved into this house i love it but sometimes i just really don't know what to do with it i don't want to just like overcrowd it with a whole bunch of decor but that's why I think last year I really didn't film um, decorating it because I, I really didn't know what to add. I just like threw all the random stuff that I didn't decorate my home with inside here. But this year I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to decorate it. So I just decided to add these little vintage um, Redon pieces and kind of do a ghost theme in this side as well. And like I said, most of everything i'm using i already have that's the good thing of keeping and going through <clears throat> excuse me going through all your halloween decor you get to see what you want to keep and incorporate this little guy is from um joanna parker and i did get it last year as well this year i don't think i ended up getting anything new besides the ghost um the gus cookie jar and this frame right here it was from walmart it had a skull in the front and i just took it out gave it a buff and buff the antique color um to it and it just added this little napkin holder well no it's supposed to be like a uh utensil holder right on it and as you can see it tipped over <laughs> Thank you. 
I really love this skull skeleton hand I got at Michael's. I want to say like two, three years ago. I had another one and it broke literally in pieces. <laughs> so I'm glad I still have one left. So these two blankets I found in a thrift store and I really like them. I like the neutral colors to them. So I just usually keep it in this cabinet. <laughs> and also those goals I made with pieces of my wedding dress like I did with the other one. And I, the other one was a little bigger and these two a small one. I just decided to add it into this bowl with some pumpkins and I really love how it looks. So this poison bottle, I decided to add um, another label to it, a more looking vintage label to it. And I just flipped it over and just added it to it. So this ghost canister is from last year from Joanne's um, and this year I did pick up as you can see <laughs> the one from this year and I think they look so cute so being that I didn't I wasn't planning to display them I said well let me just add them here because by this point I really didn't have or know <laughs> what else to add so yeah down here it just looks uh, I guess blah <laughs> but let me know what you think how it looks and also guys you see how I had the black candles and it melted on them because I was trying to go for a low but then I decided to not add the candles and they got stained so now I guess I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and I will spray paint them for next year and up here I just decided to add this little skeleton up here as well i didn't know what to add i was just like running out of things but this skull it's supposed to be like a bucket skull as you can see right there i did a little diy to it and i really love how it looks
so this little moon face i want to call him i got him last year from a little shop on instagram as well and guys up here to me it doesn't make any sense but it looks nice <laughs> so i just kept it like that so yeah guys this side is officially done as well let me know <laughs> once again in the comments how you like this side the table i would love to go all out and decorate my dining room table but in reality we do sit here and eat dinner so to decorate it with a whole bunch of halloween decor i don't think it's a good idea just because i don't want to keep taking it out just like so we could sit and have dinner so i just kept it um simple So I will be decorating the table with pieces from last year and maybe just one new piece. This is from the Martha Stewart collection I purchased last year and it lights up and I thought it was pretty. I actually added the um, shrinks light to it. This is the only new piece I added this year and it's also from the Martha Stewart collection. And I decided to add these bottles from the Target bullseye section. To my table as well and this other skull is just from michael's and i painted the eyes black so it could go with the rest of them and that's it guys this is the only decor i added to the table so if you made it this far to my video thank you so much i truly appreciate it please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the next video will be coming soon actually it will be my video so stay tuned for that